Good evening and welcome to Firestone High School for Boys City Series Championship game action here tonight. This action's contest pits the visiting Firestone Falcons even though we're at their house on the scoreboard. They come in with a record of 13 and four overall. Nine and three in the City Series. Two of their City Series losses coming to their opponent tonight, the East Dragons. Starting lineups for the Firestone Falcons coached by Dave Milo, had a fine season this season. Kevin Gladney, the great football player and basketball player, junior guard. Corbin Bates also in the backcourt, number 10. Number 23, Stefan Willis. 33, Evan Kennerly, the sophomore, and in the middle, junior forward, Jerome Lane. Their opponent tonight, the East Dragons, coming in at 17-1 overall. Number seven in the state in Division II. Number one seed in the Stowe Regional. And a perfect 12-0 City Series regular season champion. They're looking for their first tournament title in over 20 years. Starters being introduced for the Dragons right now. Junior, or check that, senior number one. Michael Shady, a great one-two punch with Shady and Devontae Brunson, Co-City Series Player of the Year. Also, number 22, Brandon Townsend. Number 33, senior Charles Travis. Those round out your starters for the East Dragons. The Dragons, coached by Ross Fiorolo, having a fantastic season. Fantastic season overall. They're a team looking to close it out here. To do that, they're going to have to beat the Falcons for a third time. Two meetings previous. The first meeting here was a double overtime thriller in which the Dragons won by, under the heroics of Michael Shady, who did it an awesome style in double overtime. They won 101 to 98. Also a 14 point win at home. But now we'll see how tough it is to beat a team three times. Tap underway. Joe Pekanski, Dave Schick here with you from Firestone High School as Jerome Lane wins the tip. Pass overplayed by Brunson. And he misses the bunny on the other end. That's a rare miss. Yeah, always rather get Firestone on a neutral site. Certainly couldn't play this game at East Home Court, just not enough seating. Kennerly with the drive, he can't get it to go. Rebound comes out to Gibson. Fast break, Shady can't get it to go. Strong rebound inside and up with the left hand and good is Brandon Townsend. Three shots at it there, down the board. Firestone doing a good job on the glass. Lane drives in, puts that one up, no good. And they're letting him play today as M Milo really wanted to foul on that one. Can't leave him open. Devontae Brunson for three, and he got it. And just like that, five straight for the Dragons, and it's cut to a two-point deficit. Yeah, Brunson, one of the best scorers in all of the state. It baits down low. Firestone really extending that 2-3 zone, trying to get in the passing lanes. And there's a guy you'd like to find. He is a classic baseliner. That's Sir Charles Travis, and he ties it up. It's been the skip pass shows you how the zone is, is moving and flattens and out. Shady for three again. He can't find it early on, 0 for 3, but he gets his own rebound, puts it up, can't get it to go. A third shot at it, and that's Brandon Townsend, two more for him off of offensive putback. And Firestone, that's the second time in the last three possessions that they have not rebounded defensively. Gladney stripped by Brunson. Talking with Bates a little bit about, it looks offensively how to get some open looks. See if he does so, makes his second. He's with got the, five. Yeah, with that, the Dragons with their first lead. Brandon Townsend's been a different ma difference maker in this first quarter. Andrews with the turnover, back the other way. And 
Brunson gets a two plus one just on the foul. He kind of waited for him, just baited Andrew into the contact, and he finishes that time. Missed the layup earlier, but finishes that time. And yeah, Devontae Brunson also with his second steal on the overplay. Yeah, and he did a good job, as you said, baiting him a little bit, kind of taking that slow step to allow him to catch up, get the contact, but still make the shot. Brunson kind of a combo guard, really the size of a high school point guard, but, but more of a two guard, plays off the ball, certainly has the ball handling ability though as he gets his sixth point. Coach Fiorolo shouts out the play here inside 10 seconds. Yeah, that's who you want to have it. Oh, wow. man, what a great use. Peter George got that one great right into your living room, nothing but net and a 16-2 run to end the first quarter, and the Dragons find themselves up by a score of 16-9. Brunson called for it, looked into the corner, baseline goes, puts it up, and the blocking foul is big and N1. Eight points, certainly can see him go for a boatload of rebounds as we saw last game, 19. Oh, beautiful shot. Nice touch. Just it's like a, he's on his home floor. A classic baseliner. He does all his yep. damage on that baseline. And on the offensive glass, which he, we've seen him a couple times this year. He's a double-double machine, is Sir Charles Travis. Mm -hmm. Four points, five rebounds in this one. The lead back up to five. I, I really, if <laughs> Willis is going to hit that, that is great defense. And Willis just steps back and hits an 18-and-a-half footer. They're doing a great job of cutting off Willis's penetration. Shady from 22. <laughs> Can't stop that. I mean, the defense isn't picking him up till he's a foot from the three-point line. So he takes another foot back and drains one from there. There goes Lane and gets that wow. one to go. And that's just the 25 inside a minute. Brunson on the baseline, great pass. And he gets it to Travis, and he gets that one to go for the end one. And Brunson taking the attention of the defender, bringing him out, and then giving the stellar bounce pass to Travis. Yeah, well said, partner. The, the key was the bounce pass. You can't make that pass any other way. Well, and so many players try and bullet at the pass to him, where if you have that bounce pass, it's like you can just continue the motion going up to the basket instead of trying to catch it in mid-flight. Another rebound for Lane. Now they're looking to take the lead back. That's a travel. Too open was Rodgers. <laughs> yes, there is a th such thing as being too open. I think you, surpri <laughs> you get surprised. And that's unfortunate. I mean, lots of players do it. And they're trying to hold this one out and go into halftime with a lead. Wow. Ball tipped around and turned over. Off his foot and no call. Oh, wow. What a take by Willis and one. Firestone back in the lead. Explosive speed in the open court off of the turnover for the Falcons. Again, off of his foot. Tough. <laughs> One thing Willis Good. certainly knows how to do is take the ball to the hole. Could have, could have called the kick ball. Would have been helpful. Travis gets the rebound. Seesaw battle. Firestone up one inside 10 seconds here. East had a flurry. That's Wide open three. Wanted. In and out. No box out. On the other end, and there he is again, Brandon Townsend getting those offensive stick backs, and that one's a big one because at the half, it puts the East Dragons up by a score of 29 to 28. Fast action. The Dragons doing it on the offensive glass, and with both teams forcing turnovers, we have a seesaw battle here tonight. 